Diet is an important factor that affects oral health as well as overall health. To understand the relationship between diet and oral health, researchers often conduct dietary studies on controlled human populations. You might wonder what controlled human dietary studies are. These are basically the experiments where participants are provided with controlled diets that are carefully designed and monitored by researchers. They are usually conducted in a research facility like a hospital or a university and the participants are closely observed to ensure that they follow the prescribed diets. In this video, we will focus on two such important studies, the Hopewood House study and the Tristan de Kuna study. Starting with the Hopewood House study, Sullivan and Harris began a 10-year study in 1958 and Harris later carried it through 1963. The participants were children living at the Hopewood House in South Wales, Australia between the ages of 3 and 14. Almost all of these kids were born and raised in the Hopewood House. They had a strict, primarily vegetarian diet that was mostly served uncooked during the whole research. Occasional consumption of egg yolk was allowed. The two main aspects of this study were the removal of meat and the severe restriction of refined carbs like rice in the diet. The meals were supplemented with vitamin concentrates, a portion of nuts occasionally and a sweetener like honey. Fluoride levels in their food and water were negligible and it was noted that they didn't drink any tea. The mean DMFT per child of the 13 year olds after the 10 years was calculated to be 1.6 compared to a mean value of 10.7 for children in the general community. Additionally, it was revealed that only 0.4% of 13-year-olds attending state schools were caries-free, in comparison to 53% of Hopewood House's 13-year-old students. Note that the kids in this house were found to have poor oral hygiene with high prevalence of gingivitis. Despite this, by following the diet, they were mostly free of caries. This study thus helped us conclude that, at least in children, dental caries can be reduced by only following a strict diet, even without the benefit of fluoride and also in the presence of unfavorable oral hygiene. Moving on, let's now understand the importance of the Tristan de Kuna study. As you would have guessed, Tristan de Kuna is a small remote island in the South Atlantic, earlier inhabited by people of European descent. In the years 1932, 1937 and 1953, upon checking the dental status of 6 to 19 year olds here, it was noted that the prevalence of caries on the first molar was almost 0%. But later, in the 1960s, due to a volcanic eruption here, the entire population temporarily migrated to England. When the population's dental health was examined in England in 1962, it was discovered that the first molars had a 50% prevalence of dental caries. In the coming years, when the island became habitable, the inhabitants gradually began to return. When the island's population's dental health was assessed in 1966, the results revealed that 80% of the population had dental caries in their first molars. It was determined that the initial population had no caries and had high prevalence rates after temporary emigration to England and after returning. This was concluded to be because the island, like England, had modern industries being established and made processed foods high in sugar and starch. This thus, in turn, led to increased prevalence of dental caries. In conclusion, both these studies provide important insight into the relationship between diet and dental caries. While the Hopewood study demonstrated the benefits of having a nutritious diet for children's dental health, the Tristan de Kuna study showed the benefits of having nutritious food over processed food for overall dental health. Maintaining a nutritious diet and following good dental hygiene practices can help us in preventing dental caries. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.